This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> Guess what I've discovered? How to grow a complete garden in your own bedroom with no mess, no fuss, and no digging. And each plant only takes half an hour to grow. Come and have a look at this. Cut two big strips of cardboard out from the side of a cardboard box, and then draw a vertical line that runs down the middle of both of them, like that. And then onto one of your sheets of cardboard, draw a plant or a flower in a pot. Now, just draw something that's very simple, that's big and bold, and make that vertical line run roughly down the middle of your plant, like that, but make sure it runs down the middle of your plant pot. Just draw in the lip of the plant pot in there, like that, and then down to the bottom. Now, the bottom of your plant pot should be very straight. I'm going to use a ruler for that. You don't often see me using rulers, but that does have to be perfect, like that. And then just put in a couple of spikes on my plant, which is, I'm sure you recognise by now, a cactus. And when you've done your plant, again, make it very simple, cut it out, and you'll have something that looks like that. And the idea is to place this one onto your backing card and line those two vertical lines up perfectly, like that. Then draw around your first plant, cut it out, and you'll have two plants that look like that. And then you have to mark the halfway point up that vertical line. Now, you have to do it very accurately, so you can measure it. I'm just guessing here, just to show you. And then the idea is to cut out a slot up one to the middle and down one to the middle that's the thickness of the card itself. And the best way of doing that is to cut out a strip of card that's very straight and then lay it onto one of your plants going up to the middle and draw all the way around it. Don't forget, I'm looking for a strip that's the thickness of my card, so there's one, and then going down the middle of the other one like this. Again, just holding it into place on its side so I can get the thickness of the strip. Like that. And then you just cut those two strips out, or slots, and you have that, two cardboard plants with slots in them. And then you can paint them whatever colour you like, depending what flower or plant it is. Now, I'm going to use some green here. Just going to slosh it onto my cactus. And, like that. and don't forget to make the whole of your plant and your pot. And when the, when the paint is dry, you can put on some detail with black permanent marker or some other coloured paint. But do both sides of each plant, and when it's dry, you'll have something that looks like this. Look at that. Two flat plants, both painted on either side. And then it's just a case of holding them and slotting them together. There it is. One slot up one and one down the other. And there you have it. Your cardboard slot plant. And look at that. It stands up by itself. And there are loads of different plant shapes you could try. There are lots of different types of flowers. All have their own shapes and colours. And look at this. I've even done one flower down here in a vase. Look at that. And what about this? A bunch of flowers in a basket, all using the same cardboard slot principle. And you can even do it with things like this. A gnome. Try it yourself. Cardboard slot plants. And before you know it, your bedroom will be covered with blooms. Hello, it's me, the head. Those are dead simple to make. Just remember that whatever shapes you do, you must cut a slot halfway up one piece and halfway down the other piece. Otherwise, it'll end up like this. Sad, isn't it? Oh. 